Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. So I have a gaming headset on the channel today. Now this is only $25. It's said to be a high-end gaming headset. Is it really high-end if it's that inexpensive? We're gonna check it out right now in today's video. And I do have to mention that this is a sponsored video. However, that does not mean that I have to change my opinion. If it sucks, I can say that it sucks. And with that being said, let's go ahead and jump into today's video. Thank you for joining. If you're new, hit that subscribe button and that bell icon. We do monthly giveaways every month and you could win something simply by being subscribed. Also, I'm trying to get caught up with Twitter, so maybe you guys can help me out. Add me on Twitter, follow me, send me messages there. I'm trying to use it more. I kind of just like forgot about my Twitter page. It's been MIA for like the last month or two, but I'm gonna start using it again. I feel like it's a good way to keep in touch with you guys. I'll be announcing giveaways and stuff on there. I'll be announcing giveaway winners on there. So if you're not following my Twitter, make sure you check that out at MindCTV. All right. So let's see what we got. So the first thing to notice here coming out of the box, you'll see that it says these are a black pair of headphones and you can see right here on the picture, it's all black. So when you open up this package, these are definitely not black, they're orange. So you get the adapter and the headset itself and that's pretty much all that will come inside the package. I like the texture on the black leather up here by the Siberia logo, it's pretty cool. It looks like a snake skin or something. Pretty cool way that you can adjust this. You don't really need to like slide the headphones out or anything. It just has a headband with some stretchy elastic on both sides of it so when you slide this onto your head, it will adjust accordingly. You just pop it on your ears, it's stuck there. This is gonna hold it from falling any lower and you're ready to play some video games. And you've got some really comfortable padding. These pads actually feel really good. They feel good when you put them on your head. It doesn't make your ears uncomfortable at all really. I've already tested these out on my gaming computer. If you don't know who Lady Evil is, it's a head that I created to show you guys what headphones sound like and stuff like that. All the other review channels end up having a head like this. Remember where you saw it first, Mind CTV holds it down. You have your microphone right here on the front and it's pretty cool. You've got an on and off switch right on the mic itself. So if you're playing some video games and you need to talk to somebody in your house, you can just switch it off. Nobody in the game will hear what you've got going on. Microphone check. So this is what you guys would hear if you were playing online with me right now and I were wearing this headset. This is exactly how it would sound on the other end. So I think it's pretty clear. There's really no distortion or anything like that. So as far as communicating to one another or playing games where you need to communicate, I think that this would be a great choice. So this headset is actually pretty clear when I'm recording my voice through this microphone. I do kind of like the way it sounds. I can hear my voice clearly, but it also sounds like I'm a helicopter pilot. So when you're playing some hardcore games in this thing and you're giving orders to your friends, you could sound pretty legit. Now these are pretty durable. You've got these two orange bands or black bands or whatever color you get in the package, but these don't feel like they're gonna break anytime soon. All right guys, so to give you a quick recap, I have gotta say, number one, these are very comfortable. As far as comfort goes, I would give this like a nine out of 10. It fits on my ears perfectly. The padding is very nice. I didn't feel any discomfort after wearing it for about a half hour, 45 minutes. As far as the microphone goes, there was no distortion. It wasn't breaking up. However, it does take some of your natural sounding tone away from your voice when you're playing video games. And last but definitely not least, as far as the sound quality goes on these things, I would say that it sounds very good. The bass is a little bit higher than the mids and trebles, but I kind of like that personally. I like hearing the explosions. I like hearing the in-depth bass in video games. It feels more immersive to me. And as far as the price goes, these are super cheap. You're not spending $150, $200 on a gaming headset. This is like a $25, $30 pair of gaming headphones, and they're actually very good. So I'll leave a link down below in the description, guys. Check it out for yourselves. Let me know what you think. There's tons of good reviews on these. They work great. I'll be using this on the PC now when I'm playing Fortnite because I actually needed a gaming headset for the computer and seeing that I have them and they work pretty well, I might as well continue using them. So until next time, I will catch you guys later. Thank you for watching today's video. Make sure you leave your comments down below. Let me know what you think. I think it's pretty good. Also hit that thumbs up button if this video was helpful. Until next time, I will catch you guys later. Peace. Alpha Squad approaching headquarters. I got two bogeys in focus. Should we fire, sir? Should we fire? Take the shot! Take the shot now! Oh. I had the microphone muted. 
Make sure that your microphone is on when it's time to take the shot.